Hello everyone, Tim here. This video is all about what movie I have the most copies of. This type of topic has already been done by Tony, Basement Blues. He did it and he had what, like 11 copies of Top Gun. Adam the Movie Hunter did it for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Bob's Blu-rays did it for uh, The Town. And Movies with James did it for Jaws, which, oh my god, that one edition of Jaws he had was crazy awesome. But all their links will be down below because they're all amazing people but mine uh this is interesting so i went through what i was thinking it might be and uh you know i love army of darkness love army of darkness and army of darkness is contender i'm going to show you how many copies i have of army of darkness before i roll into the main one so yeah this is going to kind of be a two for one because i was freaking adamant that Army of Darkness is the one I had the most copies of. Because I have some different stuff. Like, I have a laser disc for it. A laser disc. I don't even have a damn laser disc player. But I have Army of Darkness on laser disc. Look at this. I would actually like to get myself a laser disc player at some point. Out of sheer, I guess, awesomeness of it. Like, I love records, and it's so cool that there is a movie format. That is a big, giant disc the size of a record. I think that's cool as hell. Uh, so, yeah, I would like to get a record or a laser disc player at some point. It's just like putting a record back in. But, uh, yeah, so I have Army of Darkness on laser disc. I also have it on VHS, which there's many editions of VHS, and I just have this, this one, this one lonely little Army of Darkness, unfortunately. There's also different versions on DVD. I only have this edition, but I do love this edition. I love the whole, like, it's a bootleg type of vibe. It, it reminds me of uh, System of a Down had an album called Steal This Album that they went for the whole, like, it's a bootleg. I dig that. So, this is a really cool edition. This will always stay in the collection, but that's my only DVD copy. I have on Blu-ray... The original uh, Scream Factory. I used to own that uh, that standard generic screwball edition. I got rid of it. I need to rebuy it just for the sake of having it. I mean, I don't need to, but I mean, I did a whole video on double dipping. I I do it. Uh, I also have this steel book, which let's get this outside of the protector. It's the what army defenseness. I can't pronounce shit. I can't remember what, what country this is from, but I had to have it. Uh, it's The artwork is amazing, and uh, it's Army of Darkness, and I am a complete sucker for the movie. I also have the Scream Factory Blu-ray one, and the 4K from Scream Factory 4K Steelbook. So that puts me at seven copies of Army of Darkness, VHS, DVD, Laserdisc, Blu-ray, 4K, all different types of editions. Uh, I would like more, but that's what I got a 7. But Jurassic Park, it still wins. I think you guys already kind of saw that coming. Duh, if you've been following my channel. So I have 8 editions of uh, Jurassic Park. I thought I had 7, and then I found yet another VHS copy. What's really weird, and you you will see, I, it's something really weird about my collection that I need to correct. But I have this super basic, everybody has it, copy on VHS, which I love still. I have the collector's edition one to VHS. Still, it's open, but still wrap on it because it's got the nice little $9.99 Blockbuster sticker on there. But very cool. I love that. So, I have that as my second VHS. And then I have a third VHS, which this is from the UK. Because the case that is like all, it's like fossilized. It's it's raised and stuff. It's super freaking cool. I love this one. So that puts me at three copies for VHS. Which is more than I thought I had. But, but... Oh no, I just dropped one of my Jurassic Parks! Oh no. Uh, but, I don't have a DVD. For some weird reason, I guess I just got rid of my DVDs of that. 
and other movies, I, I don't have a DVD copy on my collection. So I need to correct that just for sheer sake of uh, being a Jurassic Park fan. I want it. It's a common DVD. There's multiple versions. But Blu-ray wise, at least, so skipping the DVD generation, I have the Jurassic Park 3D release. This is thanks to Derek, Convicted Cinephile. He sent this my way because he's the man. I also have the Steelbook, which I will be having another Jurassic Park Steelbook very soon with that nice 4K one that was announced. So that'll be another edition. I have, ooh, this would be the last of the, the Blu-ray before we hop into 4K. I got this big bad Mamma Jamba. Look at that. Yeah, that's a sick set. Uh, this just has a the super standard Blu-ray like collector's edition that you could easily get everywhere inside, but it's got a little statue, so that's cool. I have the regular 4K with the slip, and I have the box set of all of them, but it has number one in it, so that is my eighth edition of Jurassic Park. I need to see what other versions I can get. Uh, there's many more. This movie's been re-released over and over and over again. Would love to get myself a, uh, a laser disc, so I'll probably try to get one of those at some point. Definitely get some DVDs. Try to, you know, pump up those numbers some. Which means it's a completely irrelevant. This is purely for fun because I love the franchise. Uh, it's it's all for fun. Literally, this into all of this is just because I enjoy it. It's fun. Uh, nothing serious about it. It's, even if it's wasteful, it's fun wasteful. If I'm happy, that's all I care. So, yes, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you to Bob, Tony, James, Adam, all you guys for inspiring this video. You guys rock. And yeah, that's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.